Hello, in this video I will demonstrate how to calculate some descriptive statistics using the IBM SPSS software. To do that, I'm going to use a fairly simple data set which includes 30 observations representing 30 individuals or 30 students. For each student I have a numerical ID, their gender identification coded as 1 or 2, 1 for female, 2 for male, grade level, which can be 7th or 8th, their math score, and the number of hours that each student has spent studying per week. To summarize the data, I can calculate some frequencies for uh, my ordinal variables. Frequencies are appropriate for categorical or ordinal variables. And I will calculate some descriptive statistics for my quantitative variables, which are math score and study hours. I'm also interested in examining the distribution of math scores and study hours just to see how much they resemble the normal distribution. So to do that, I'm going to go to the Analyze menu and then click on Descriptive Statistics and then Frequencies. Um, here, as I mentioned before, I have two ordinal variables. So I'm going to select Gender and Grade Level and move them into the Variables area. Uh, I can calculate frequencies for the other variables, the quantitative ones, but that would not make uh, much sense. So I have the option of creating APA style tables, which is very nice. So I'm going to click OK. And now notice that I have my results in another window. So SPSS is going to place all your results in a separate window, which is called Output. You can then save this file separately to retain your result, results and make sure that you don't lose them. So for the frequencies, um, it tells me that I have 30 values, 30 valid observations, no missing values. And then for each of the two variables, it gives me the number and percentage of individuals included in each subcategory. For instance, I have 17 females and 13 males, and then um, the percentage that each number represents out of the total number of students, and the same type of information for grade level. Now, for my quantitative variables, I want to calculate some descriptive statistics, such as the mean, the median, the standard deviation, and so on. To do that, I can go to the Analyze menu, which notice that I can access from the output window as well. So I can go to Analyze and then Descriptives. Notice that now I'm selecting Descriptives instead of Frequencies. And these are already here because I ran this before, so I'm going to click Reset. But this is what the window is going to look like the first time you run it. So I am going to select my quantitative variables, which are the mathematics test score and the study hours per week, and move them into the variables area. Now, by default, you get the mean and the standard deviation, the minimum and the maximum values. If you want additional statistics, such as the variance, the range, uh, you can select that from the Options button, right? You can even um, request to get coefficients such as Qness and Kurtosis, or the sum, and so on. But for now, let's just focus on um, these uh, more simple statistics. So I'm going to click Continue. And then OK. So notice that I have some new information now in my output window. I have for each one of the two variables the number of observations, the range, the minimum and maximum values, the mean, standard deviation, and the variance. If you want to you know, obtain more detailed descriptive uh, statistics, you can go to the Analyze menu to Descriptive Statistics, and instead of Descriptives, select Explore. This will give you a lot more information about your variables. So from the left side, which is the list of all of the variables in your data set, 
you can select the variables that you want to use like mathematics test scores and the number of study hours per week move them into the dependent list and then uh, click OK this is going to give you a lot more detailed information it's also going to give you some graphical representation of the data which we're not going to discuss now because there will be additional videos on how to create and interpret uh, graphical representations of the data so for now just look at the descriptive statistics so for the mathematics score notice that we have a mean of 75 and a median of 78. Um, the mean is a little bit smaller than the median, suggesting that there may be a little bit of negative skewness there. Um, and we already know that there are some scores that are very low. The minimum is 35, right? Um, and then with the study hours per week, if we look at the mean is 6.1, and the median is 6. So these two values are very, very close. They're almost identical. So this suggests that this variable probably has a symmetrical or close to a normal distribution. So again, if we scroll down, we can see some different graphical representations of the data, which we will discuss in another video. Um, if you want to run the same type of analysis but by subgroup you can do that by going again to the analyze menu descriptive statistics and explore and then use again uh, the quantitative variables that you want but in the factor list you can um, include a grouping variable. For instance, if I want to break down the results by gender, I can select gender here and move it into a factor list. So very important to remember that this needs to be a categorical or an ordinal variable and uh, probably with fewer categories to make things uh, easier to interpret. And then click OK. So notice now that I get the same type of results, for instance, I get the mathematics score, but I get it separately for females and then for males, right? I see that my math score for females is 76, the math score for male is 75. The study hours for females is 6.05. And for males is 6.15 so very similar numbers or very similar statistics for both variables scrolling down again we see the graphical representations but this time they are uh, comparatively comparatively illustrated side by side for the subcategories so for male and female in this uh, case so this is how to obtain descriptive statistics using the IBM SPSS software.